be like Sims. I'm the on the fish. You wanna pull up on my head, you with me. I don't know about you. Good morning, Muhlenberg, and welcome back for another beautiful Tuesday morning. I mean, the weather's not so beautiful, but more on that from Hurricane Payne in a moment. Anyway, it is Tuesday, October 5th, 2021. It is a day one, and now we'll send it over to Mr. Hurricane Payne with your weather report. Thanks, Mr. Rankin. That was fantastic. AC Cole, welcome to Tuesday morning. And yes, today we will be seeing the sun. Temperatures today are going to get into the mid 70s, and we're going to see the sun, a little bit of clouds, but overall just a really nice day. Temperatures tonight are going to drop down into the 60s, and that humidity is starting to get out of our atmosphere. And those storms over a Sunday night and yesterday, they have really helped out with alleviating a lot of that humidity. Now, our question today is coming from Charlene De La Rosa, and she asked Mr. Payne, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Would it be San Diego? Actually, as much as it sounds beautiful in San Diego with the temperatures almost the same every day and the sun out every day, I don't think I would choose to live there. I would choose to live right here, and one of the reasons is we experience all four seasons here in Pennsylvania in the Northeast region. It gets hot in the summer. We see the leaves change in the fall. The temperatures get cool. We have opportunities to experience snow. And then in the spring, it's just lots of energy and, and flourishing of all the plants and grasses, which is really nice. So I love the four seasons. So if I choose anywhere to live, it's right here. Thank you for that question, Charlene. That was a good one. C. Cole, have a great Tuesday. Mr. Rankin, back to you. Thank you so much for that weather report, Mr. Hurricane Payne. Now, mm, it always brings joy to my heart when I get a nice holiday or observance. And October 5th is World Teacher's Day. That is right. Today is World Teacher's Day. So please make sure you show your teacher some appreciation in some way. It can be a teacher you currently have. It can be a teacher you previously have. Just show that like, hey, Appreciate you. That'd be nice to go along with that. Today is also do something nice day. So, you know, maybe do something nice for your teacher. Just saying. I'm throwing that out there. Along with do something nice day, something nice you could do is tell a story to one of your little siblings or maybe tell a funny story to one of your friends at lunch because today is also National Storytelling Day. Everyone loves a good story, whether it be a book or your own story that you remember. So maybe tell someone a funny story or read a book to like a, a younger sibling or something. It'd be nice, right? For something nice day. Man, love it when a plan comes together. Anyway, a few important announcements before we wrap up here. Um, clubs for fourth grade start today. Good luck, fourth grade. I'm sure you'll love it. Lots of fun, right? Um, Monday. Whew, bless up. No school for y'all. No school Monday the 11th. Keep that in mind. I mean, the teachers will be here, but y'all won't be, so clap it up on that one. Um, band, all band, right? All band today. All band is meeting today at, not sure when, 2.30. Yep, 2.30, thank you. Um, and also, sixth grade chorus is also meeting today at 2.30. So, there you go. Band chorus, you got your stuff today. And last but not least, not next week, but starting the 18th, we are having Spirit Week, so keep your eyes open for the different themes for each Spirit Week that will come up. All right, CE Cole, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. I'll catch you on the flip-flop.